my name is Morgan. This is my channel, Pisces Paperbacks, and today I'm going to be doing a book tag. I'm going to be doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. This is going to be another, like, minimally edited video, just trying to, like, do something fun over the weekend. It is currently Friday, and I'm planning to put this video up today, so I think across the Fingers crossed that that happens. Um, I'm doing this tag because somebody I follow, Connor Stampinato, uh, I think that's how you say his name, did this tag um, a few weeks ago and I was like, oh, that sounds fun. I have not picked any of my answers ahead of time. So we'll see how that goes. And if this is just like a video of me taking a long time, just staring into the distance, trying to figure it out, uh, my answers, then that's what it's gonna be. I also have my computer right here, so if I look down, that's what I'm looking at. My cat's also down here, so she's very cute. Um, I don't know if you can see her. I'm not gonna move my camera. Okay, question number one. What is a popular book or series that you didn't like? I mean, basic answer, The Night Circus. Um, I actually didn't hate it that much, although the longer it goes from reading it, like the more and more angry I get about it. Um, but it is like a very popular favorite on booktube. So The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, I read it last year. I was just really disappointed. I really liked the writing, but the characters and the story and the romance like did less than nothing for me. And I just wasn't, oh my God, Elsa, I swear to God, you can't swipe at my phone. Okay. Uh, but I just wasn't a huge fan and it was a little disappointing. Fortunately, I did read Erin Morgenstern's second book, The Starless Sea, last month and I adored it. So that was a winner. The second question is a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you love. Um, I mean, the easy answer is like the Twilight series because it's like kind of a joke to hate it because it's like bad. But I do genuinely love that. But I also think Twilight is going through like a... Oh my god, it's the lighting is changing so fast whenever I turn my head. I'm looking at my bookshelf over here, if that's what I'm doing. But Twilight's like going through a renaissance right now, so I don't really want to pick that one. So I guess another series that everyone else seems to hate but I love is another thing for the trash. And that is Fifty Shades of Grey series, specifically the books from Christian's perspective. And I, these books make me just as angry as everyone else. I promise you, I don't actually think they're good and I don't recommend them. However, they're so fun. I'm happy that I own them <laughs> and I'm happy that I read them because they're just like so much trash to enjoy. So I definitely don't blame you if you hate that one. That one is valid. Question number three is a love triangle where the main character ended up with a person you did not want them to end up with or an OTP that I don't like. Um, I don't really know. Honestly, I've never... When it comes to like shipping and stuff, I really got more into it when it comes to like movies and TV. And it when it comes to books, I'm pretty happy to just go along with what authors present to me. So, like, it's not that easy for me to be like, oh, I hate this couple because generally I don't care. I guess in movies or TV and OTP that I don't like, oh gosh, I can't even think of any. I'm so basic. Oh, I guess in Marvel, I hate the ship of Bucky Barnes, Winter Soldier, and Black Widow. And like, so like Natasha and Bucky together. Something about that ship just robs me the wrong way i don't know what it is but i just not a fan of that so i guess that's what i'm gonna go with question number four is a popular book genre that you hardly reach for that's definitely gonna be ya contemporaries um like i've said before in videos it's just not my favorite i tend to go for other things oh um another thing is i don't really go for poetry like that often it's just not my fave let me look at my statistics spreadsheet and see because so far this year, 37 of the books I've read were romance and 25 were fantasy. And so I guess the ones that I don't read that often are, uh, yeah, it'll be poetry, I guess. I would say sci-fi because that's a pop, that's like one that's popular that I don't read for that often, but I do like sci-fi. So I don't want to like say that it's like an unpopular opinion. You know what I mean? Uh, another, the question number five is a popular or beloved character that you do not like. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty like, again, I'm pretty chill on like 
liking or hating characters. I'm pretty happy to go along with what authors present to me because I just like to be sucked into a story. So a lot of like popular hateable characters are like people love Dumbledore but then a lot of people are like oh he was an asshole or same thing with Sirius Black stuff like that and like Harry Potter but generally I'm like chill with all of them. I still like Snape even though I know that he was a terrible person. Um, this is like a really boring unpopular opinion because I'm so like meh it's fine. Let me look at my shelf to see if there are any characters or anything. Not really. I don't know. I just read so much romance. It's like like low stakes kind of fiction is what I like to read. So, hmm, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna skip that one, I guess. Um, a popular author that you can't seem to get into. I would probably say Sarah J. Metz. I've read two of her books. I read uh, The Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm still gonna, I'm still planning on reading A Court of Wings and Ruin, so like the third one in that series. But after that, I'm pretty much done with Sarah J. Mass. I have literally zero interest, like less than zero interest in um, the Throne of Glass series. And I am not gonna be reading that Nightmare Crescent City book because that is just too big. And so little of it sounds interesting to me that. I can't even explain but yeah so Sarah J Mass is unfortunately going to take the hit on this one and yeah I don't know Oof. and then number seven a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing for example lost princess corrupt ruler love triangles etc um honestly I'm kind of tired of that like really generic YA fantasy premise where someone's like from a really poor area and gets an opportunity to go to like the really rich area. Like, you know what I mean? The, the like the Midnight Lie by, I don't remember the author's name came out this year and it has a beautiful cover, but the that like premise is so generic and overdone for me. It's like really frustrating. So I'm kind of tired of seeing that like whole like rising in the class ranks trope. And yeah, it was like pretty, mm, you know. Um, and then a popular series, number eight is a popular series that you've no interest in reading, The Shadowhunters Chronicles. I have made the conscious decision that I'm never going to read a Cassandra Clare book. Um, none of it interests me. That does not stop me from watching all of the spoiler filled reading vlogs of the last hours. What's it called? Chain of Gold. Like it does not stop me. I will watch those. I don't care. I like the content, but I'm never going to read them. I have so little interest and I'm not ashamed to say it. I just don't care. They all kind of seem stupid to me, but I appreciate that other people like them. So I'm not going to say anything else about that. Question number nine. So this is the last question and then I'm going to try and go back and um, pick like a real answer for one of the questions I skipped. So question number nine is the saying goes the book is always better than the movie but what movie or TV show adaptation do you prefer more than the book? Discovery of Witches. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I read last year and then I finished out the series and I hated the second book with like a passion and then the third book was like fine. It was like bad but not like offensively bad and I watched the TV show recently and it's just the first season. There's only one season out but the first season is like the first book and the second season is going to be the second book so it's probably gonna be like a three series a uh, three season show. The first series is so bad good. I love it. I love it so much like I adore the movie the TV show like so much but I the book is like okay you know what I mean so that is definitely gonna be my answer for that one I love the TV show for Discovery of Witches it's like it's it's through this like intense orange blue filter so every shot is like almost offensive to the eyes and like the special effects aren't very good and the acting is kind of weird but like overall it's such like a heartfelt like oh I love that show um, and then I guess what's the one that I wanted to go back to 
a popular or beloved character that you do not like? Um, I guess for that one, I'm gonna say, okay, this is, I'm not saying I don't like him, but in Carry On, like by Rainbow Rowell, there seems to be a um, significant preference for Baz, um, like Rain, like Baz, like Rainbow, Baz is like Rainbow's favorite character, and they're like, if, when they did like the cardboard cutouts, like before the release of Wayward Son, there was a Baz cutout, and like, there's a lot of stuff about Baz, like in like all this stuff, and I know it's like so lame to be like, yeah, the main character is my favorite character, but I love Simon so much, like so much I love Simon Snow, and Baz is definitely secondary to that love for me, so when I like see all of like the like love that Baz gets from like the author and all the fans I'm like I get it I get it and I agree like he's so cool I love him so much but like I just want more for Simon because <laughs> he's my favorite and I love him so it's not really a popular character that I don't like it's just a popular character that is more popular than the character that I love who is still the main character of the series so that's not really a good answer but that's gonna be my answer and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you agree or disagree on anything I said or what your answers would be to these questions. I'm going to link the original tag down below with the questions and I will um, see you guys next time. Bye.